Do you want to learn how to make this using Canva pretty much for free? Does your stream need healing? If so, you've come to the right place. My name is Dr. Heels. I am your content cleric. I make videos just like this to help you up your streaming game on a budget every single week. So if you enjoy this content, you want to see more stuff like this, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell. And also, I want to do a little test this week, guys. I want to know how many of you are actually streamers. So I want to know how much of my audience is Canva users and how much is streamers. So if you are a streamer, hit the like button. I, I want to see, I want to get a count this week of how many of you guys are actually streamers. And if you are a streamer, feel free to leave a link to your stream down below. Um, I will make sure that it gets approved and then gets out there. I'd love to come check out your stuff and what you are creating and how these videos are helping you. And if you want to ever hang out with me, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday over on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Dr. Heels. Would love to see you over there. But let's get into making some really cool stuff in Canva. Let's go. Okay, guys, right here is the completed design. Now, I want to add a quick disclaimer to do this design how I have it, which is with uh, this transparent gradient side over here. Um, to do that, you will need a pro account. So if you want a pro account just to do this, you can click down below. I have a 30 day free trial to get you guys uh, the pro account so that you can build this exact starting soon screen. If, if this part with the camera and the transparency is not important for you, don't even worry about it. Extend this all the way over, add a, you know, add a Fortnite image in here or, or something like that, whatever um, you want. But if you do want the transparent thing where your camera can show through it, um, it will have to be a pro account, unfortunately. Okay, I just wanna throw that in there. Let's continue with the tutorial. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna to wanna to create a whole new design. And I'm gonna to go to presentation because I want it to be 1920 by 1080. Um, you can adjust this resolution to fit whatever your stream size is. I stream in 1080, so I'm going with 1080. Okay, so now the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go and start to build um, our shape. And so for my particular design, we have a like diagonal um, swoosh that goes through it. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click elements here um, and I'm gonna go to frames because I actually want to put an image inside of it. And this is how you mask out an image is with a frame. And so I'm gonna find one that matches uh, pretty close to what I need. Um, and you could do the same, I'm gonna click this one. It is just a square. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit because I've got to make it quite a bit larger than it actually is. And I'm gonna bring it like this and then I'm going to grab this little wheel and I'm gonna add some rotation to it. And there we go. And I'm actually thinking that's a little too much rotation so I may bring it back just a touch uh, where it's a fairly subtle rotation. Um, and this is again a frame, you can see it's not well, I'm making it all the way to the top there. Um, and so there we go, just make sure you have it all covered. Um, and then I'm gonna to go to uploads. Now, if I hadn't already, I would upload the image that I wanted to use here, but I actually already have it. It is sitting right here. Um, so I'm just gonna drag it in um, and there's my image. If I needed to, I could click in and then um, from here, I could resize my image alone. You know, if I wanted those to be bigger, I could do that. Um, I don't, I want it to be smaller. Um, and there we go. And control plus and control minus how I'm zooming in and out if you're curious about that. Um, and now I'm gonna actually gonna move it over. I'm gonna hold down shift to keep it in line. I want a decent size right here. Um, and so to put in this part, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go to elements and I'm gonna click it again. And now I'm gonna type in gradient. And in particular, what I want here is a gradient square, just like this one. Um, now you can see you can actually choose your gradients, but for me, this is pretty much already the color I use. Um, and so I'm fine with it. So I'm just gonna stretch it out. Uh, to fill this part in. I'm gonna maybe slide it over so I get a little more purple down here at the bottom. Um, and actually I may wanna rotate it just so I can get uh, my purple um, on, on the top, sort of like that. Now I have, have it in that way. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send that to the back, just like that. Now what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna lower the opacity um, and I'll lower it to about 65%. Um, maybe actually go a little bit lower. I'm gonna go around 50%, I believe. I'm gonna lower that opacity about 50% right there. Um, and that's where my other webcam will be um, that you can see me through it. Now, the next thing I wanna do is I actually want to, I don't want this to be as, um, as bright as noticeable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lower the opacity on it to about 50, but as you see, it's getting very light. And so I'm actually gonna put a black square behind this. So I'm gonna click elements again. I'm gonna to go to my shape. So I'm just gonna throw a, a square in there and I'm gonna make it black. I want to make sure it's all the way black. Or actually, I'm going to have it match my picture, that, that color, in which is almost a dark purple. I'm going to adjust this until it matches that angle, maybe the best I can get it. 
just like that. So I'm gonna zoom back out. And again, all I need it to do is take up, it is filled in right there and I'm gonna zoom back in. Um, that seems pretty good to me and I'm just gonna nudge it into place. And I'm gonna go position backwards and there you go, it's right behind this one. Now again, I can adjust my opacity for this one, make it even more subtle if I want it. But I think maybe right around 40 we'll go with. There we go. So this is kind of uh, the base of the starting zoom screen. Now I'm gonna add some text in there. So I'm just gonna click text. Now you just choose whatever font you want to choose, want to go with. Um, I'm gonna use what it has here, which is Open Sans Extra Bold, which is a pretty nice font. And I'm gonna say starting soon. I'm gonna type it correctly. Um, adjust your size down, make it fit in there pretty good. I'd say, you know, something like that looks pretty good. Now for mine in particular, I have a command um, that says hit extra smart pray if you want, uh, if you have a prayer request, we're gonna pray at the beginning of stream. And so I'm going to hit Alt. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna click off for a second. Now I'm gonna click here and I'll hold down Alt and drag that down. And that just makes a copy of it. Hold down Shift so it stays perfectly in line. I'm gonna make my size quite a bit smaller. We'll go with something about like 42 maybe. And we want this to be a, um, a lighter font. So we'll search here. Let's try Open, open Sans Light. I do not want it to be all caps. Um, and I'll say, this is uh, too big, so I'm gonna drop down to maybe about 28. There you go. Nice and subtle. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select, I'm gonna select both of these and press Control G. They're now grouped together, and I did that so now that it'll tell me when they're, this group itself is perfectly centered. Right about there. Okay, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually grab my logo, which uh, if I go to my uploads over here, my my Dr. Heels logo should be here and right there it is. I'm just gonna drag it in. Oh, nope, I forgot, I couldn't do it that way. I actually need to drag it in right here, resize it down about the size I want it. A little bit bigger. And then because if I try to drag it, you see how it wants to fill because it's an image. It wants to fill this frame, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up about where I want it and I'm just gonna move it like this, holding down Shift and my arrow keys. And something like that looks pretty good. Okay. Now the very next thing we wanna do is we want to uh, put down our social handles down here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually, I'm just gonna alt drag these down, ungroup, delete the starting soon screen, so I don't need that. And now I'm gonna say for my YouTube, you know, it'll be slash Dr. Heels, right? And I actually may even make this one a little bit smaller. Again, going for subtlety. I'm gonna bring in these edges, just like that. And now I need to find a YouTube icon. I'm gonna go to Elements. Okay, so I liked the, I chose this one because I can actually change the colors, uh, which I am going to do. Um, I do not want to keep it this red color. And in a minute we'll group those and maybe resize them because it is looking a little bit small even to me now. So from here, I don't want this to be red. I just want it to be white, white, white and this part I want to be blue. There we go, just like that. And so now Control G, group those together, and maybe we'll resize them just a little bit. There we go, now that you have that one, all we're gonna do is we're gonna Alt drag, select one right here in the middle, and now you can put whatever other social media in here you want. You wanna export this. Now the problem that I have, and, and maybe I'll add a disclaimer in the beginning, is you will need a pro account. Uh, I have a link down below that'll get you 30 days free. You can do the design and immediately cancel the 30 day free trial. That is completely up to you if you wanna go that route. Okay, so now you just want to export this as a, a transparent PNG. Click here, um, change it to PNG, um, select transparent background. Now, to accomplish the effect that we have accomplished, you are gonna need one other thing. You're gonna need Stream FX plugin, okay? So you're gonna need this plugin right here. And all that does, if you've decided to go the route where it shows your camera, this is how you'll add that slight blur to it. Um, and so you're gonna click on this, you're gonna open up the GitHub, you'll scroll down here um, to the Windows version. So all this up here is Linux. Um, you'll go to this Windows version, and I think I downloaded just the EXE and did, or no, maybe I did the zip file and then I drug it into my OBS. But if you need to know how to do this, there are plenty of videos online that, um, that cover this. So if you need that, look up one of those videos. If you want me to make a video on it specifically, um, let me know and I will do so. But once you have that installed in OBS, you should be uh, pretty good to go. 
let me show you guys what I'm actually working with over here in OBS. Okay, in OBS, all you're gonna do is hit your little plus sign, create your scene, I'm gonna say starting soon, uh, you know, YouTube. Click okay. Okay, from here we have a blank background. All right, and so I'm gonna go ahead and add in a display capture so you guys can see what I'm working on. There we go, there's blank. You can see there's nothing else in here at all. And so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to add in, um, first thing I'm gonna add in is I'm actually gonna add in my second camera. Um, so it is a C920 um, and right there it is. You can see I already have the filter applied, uh, but let me turn those off. So, okay, there's that camera. Now, what I'm gonna do um, is I will eventually resize this how I want it. It'd be something like this. You guys get to see my workspace. This is not the part you normally get to see. So, all right, now you have now you have your camera in here, whatever camera you want to use. Uh, you are just going to now right click on that camera and go to filters. Um, I'm trying to make sure you see everything. I'm gonna add a, a blur filter. So you hit your plus sign, go to blur, add that on in there. Um, and then I also added a shader, which is just these kind of moving lines that you can kind of see here. Um, so first I'm gonna add my blur. I'm gonna add those little, uh, I don't know, I can, I'm calling them VCR lines. I don't know exactly what they are, um, but that's what I'm calling it. Okay, now you wanna add over the image that you just made. So you're gonna hit your plus sign, go to image. Um, now you're going to name it whatever you want. I actually already made one SS test, so I'm just gonna choose that one, but you would just top it out right there and click okay. All right, there we go. Now we have it added. I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna add in uh, where it actually is. So go in yours and choose um, your image wherever you saved it to. And just like that, it now has the image added in. Right there's my image. I'm just gonna click OK. And really, we're pretty much good to go. That is that is done. So I do hope that helped you. If you have any more questions, let me know. And I also wanna say, I have this right here behind me. There is a tutorial video coming out on how I made this exact light. I made it for like $6, but I really think buying all the material, I had a lot of stuff on hand, um, but buying the material, I think you can get out for under $25 making this. So if you guys are interested in that, let me know. Um, and that way I'll know if that's a video I should look into, if I should do some DIY style stuff, because pretty much everything in my backdrop from the brick wall to that that light to that shelf, it's all, it's all DIY. So if that's something you'd like to see me uh, move more into in the near future, you should let me know. But anyway, guys, if you ever want to hang out with me, I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday over on Twitch. I'd really appreciate it if you come hang out with me over there. Sub to this channel and let me know if these videos are helpful for you, what you're making with them. If you want to show off some of the stuff you've made, you've just made it, you're super proud of it, uh, be sure to join my Discord down below as well and, and post it in the share your art section. Um, I would It really means a lot to see what you guys are making using these tutorials. It truly does. Ooh, there we go!